like to invite uh, some officials to make a few comments. Begin with uh, Council Member of District 40, Dr. Matthew Eugene, who has been instrumental uh, in the organizing of this too. And Dr. Eugene, welcome and thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Good morning. As you know, my name is Matthew Eugene and I'm uh, your City Council Member. I'm your humble servant. And I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you. Today is a great day. And the time, the weather is auspicious to this uh, momentous occasion. And I want to take the opportunity to thank, first of all, God. 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 for the opportunity that he gave us and first so to the family of Dr. Talis Las to have this outstanding leader in the family. And also for the opportunity that God gave us, all of us from the Caribbean, regardless of where we came from and from New York, to benefit from the intelligence, from the leadership of a great man, Dr. Samuel Talis Las. And I want to take the opportunity also to thank and all the children of the family, you're going to allow me to say that on behalf of the 48th district, on, the, on behalf of the great city of New York, and on behalf of all of us in the community, you're going to allow me to say, Mommy Judith, thank you so very much. Thank you for what doctor has done for all of us. He couldn't do it 
alone. As they say all the time, when there is a great man, there's always a greater woman. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And I want to take the opportunity also because I feel that we are blessed to have with us and Judith, 103 years old. This is a blessing. But I want to ask you a question. Don't say that to your, you know, to, to the children. Give me the secret. So I want to take also all the uh, elected officials who are here. Especially, I want to thank, uh, you know, Mr. Brooklyn, an outstanding leader and inspiration, Mighty Marco. Thank you so much. Let's put our hands together for him. Thank you. But I want to uh, mention also a great leader in the community. You all know him. He's working so much in the community. He was a good friend of the Dr. Talisa, Dr. YST. Thank you for what you are doing. And Dr. Ida, thank you so much also. And I want also to take the opportunity to thank, you know, uh, a, a man of God. I, I'm going to mention single him out because I want him to continue to pray for me. Because our prayer is so important. Uh, Bishop Wadi, thank you so much. Sister Wadi, thank you so much. Thank you. When I look at the audience, and I see so many great leaders, that means Dr. Talisman was really an outstanding leader. He inspired all of us over here. And I can tell you, I had the opportunity to know him, to meet with him, and to be with him several times, and several events. And I can tell you, even before I was elected, I think that I was inspired by what he was doing. I saw him everywhere, in any organization, any activities, way before I was elected. And as a Caribbean, also myself, as an immigrant, I feel proud. I feel very proud. When you see somebody coming from the Caribbean, going through, through all the struggle to survive in the United States, to raise children, and to succeed, and to continue to uplift the community, we got to say, praise the Lord for that. And today, this event, is to pay tribute to him and to thank also the family members and all the children for what he has done for us. But I'm touched by one thing. Mr. Talismus Jr. was talking about his father. This is exactly what we can, Caribbean people, we have deep inside of. Family values. Family values. Respect for mommy, daddy. And I'm sure and I'm convinced that all those uh, gentlemen who are here, who have been talking about the fathers, they succeed because of the family values that Dr. Talismas instilled in all of them. And I want to take the opportunity to say that, please, if you want to pay tribute to Dr. Talismas, really, all of us from the Caribbean, remember what Mr. Talismas Jr. was saying what he was talking about his father. I'm going to ask you to continue to fight and to do everything that you can do to instill in your children all Caribbean family values. Don't let them influenced by these countries influence and peer pressure because we want them to succeed and to be inspired to become also a successful uh, leader in the community. I'm going to conclude by saying that I was proud to introduce legislation to connect the street Dr. Samuel Talisla's ways. And I'm so pleased. And I want to commend also the sons, all of you who have been working together with me, pushing me to make sure that this happened. And I hope that People who didn't know Dr. Talismus, influence and accomplishment, when they pass by, when they see that sign, they will go to find out and they will say, oh my God, he did deserve it. And I, they will be inspired to continue to walk wherever they came from, to make sure they contribute to this great city, the city of New York, to this great bowl, the bowl of Brooklyn, to this great country, United States, and other for them also 
to be part of the fabric and the success, the greatness of the United States of America. Thank you very much and God bless you. This is a uh, moment that we are all waiting for yes, we are. as a duly elected member of the city council. I, Matthew Eugene, council member of the 48th district. You get your shot. I'm pleased and honored to present the sign to the family of the Dr. Lamuel Stanislaus and the sign Dr. Lamuel Stanislaus Way. A little lower, a little lower. Straight. Straight. Like oh, yeah. There you go. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go.